We're here at Cisco Live in Berlin, Cisco's premier event for IT professionals from around the world. It's an absolutely mammoth event. So if you're exhibiting here, how do you stand out from the crowd and bring those valuable customers to come and meet and greet? Well, we've got two absolute veterans to talk about their experiences and give you some tips. Dwarf from Gardecore and Shira from Stratascale. Let's find out what they have to say. I've been walking around the stands today seeing um, sometimes lines of, of people queuing up at each of the stands and I wanted to get your tips first and foremost. Maybe you could start us off. Sure, definitely. So I think like everything else, it starts with research. So understanding who's going to be visiting, what are they looking for, what are they uh, challenged with, and making sure that we have the right content and the right messaging. Um, but that's the, the basic research, but it's also attracted them to us, to the booth, because there's so much uh, you know, attractions around us. It's such a huge uh, venue, you're absolutely it's, right. Absolutely, so, you know, as in every at the conference, it's a combination of quality and quantity. So, the quality part comes from the research, and the quantity part comes from a, an interesting marketing activity. And in our case, it's our helicopters game uh, that really draws the line. It enables us to engage and to generate a conversation uh, with our audience. I want to come back to the helicopters in a minute because I can see some of them um, behind us and I've certainly seen a big line. Um, Draw, what do you think about it? I think that sometimes there's a sort of sense that you just sort of turn up at the event and you have a good looking stand and that's enough. But what's your experience? So first of all, the, the opportunity that we got here by uh, Cisco Investment is excellent because if we were to put our own booth here, it would be just lost in the noise. Uh, being part of the Cisco Investment Pavilion is a great thing for us because it enables us to get uh, exposure in a place which is a relatively high interest zone in the event and not just be out there uh, in the crowd with all of the other uh, vendors. Um, second, it has to do with the type of people that we are uh, addressing. So, uh, Gardicor is a data center uh, security company, which means we have uh, two types of people that are interesting for us, uh, security people and data center people which uh, there's plenty of both of them here in the event. So to ask about that, so the audience is going to be really, really key. As you said, perhaps at an event this large, there's quite a sizable uh, audience and getting the right people to the stand is, is really important. I liked what you said before about the kind of planning in advance and it not being um, just the stand. So I guess I wanted to ask you, how much planning and preparation do you, do you both have to put in in advance to an event like this? I think quite a bit. Um, it is scalable in terms of an operations point of view. So as we have quite a few events throughout the year, we get better and better as we uh, progress with time. Uh, but it does get some specific work in front of you know in, in advance of each uh, event to make sure we really understand who's going to be here, what are they looking for, and how do we cater our message and adapt our message to fit what they're looking for. So absolutely, there's a lot of uh, optimization and adaptation that happens if, before every event. Sure, to pull you in on this, um, audience obviously is very, very key. Just having footfall to the stand isn't uh, enough. Yes. Do you analyze the audience in advance? Do you, do, you, do you think quite tactically in that kind of way? Or, or do you just tend to accept that there's going to be a strong audience and hope there's a, a draw to the stand? So whatever we can plan, we plan. But uh, a lot of things in events like this, uh, you have to plan as much as you can and then play it by ear. Respond to what's happening because uh, we don't have like access to the pre-registered list, of, so we don't know who's going to be here. So uh, you still need to trust your instincts and to uh, tell your story and to find the right people. And by the way, for us, it's not only the Cisco's customers attending, it's also an opportunity for us to, to engage with the Cisco field people because uh, we have a partnership with Cisco, both on the security side and the data center side. But this is mostly with the headquarter people. And an event like this is a wonderful opportunity for us to meet those people in the field, which uh, are the people that actually close the deals for Cisco. I have to ask about top tips and uh, perhaps little uh, builds and add-ons that you can do, because as you said, there's, there's a lot of people here and a, a lot of stands. And I, I want to go back to the helicopters just for a minute. It brings out the little kid in me to see them going around. Oh, absolutely. There are quite a few kids. So here's an example of our helicopters. What we've done is we've basically created a game that people line up to play. Uh, when they line up, it's an opportunity for us to talk to them, explain what Stratascale does, 
why is it relevant to them and sort of engage with them and create a relationship or start a relationship. And then as they play, some of them will win this uh, great helicopter and some won't. And yes, they're disappointed for five seconds, but when they walk away, um, they remember us. And for those who get to walk away with the box, uh, since it's uh, big enough, uh, it tells other people that there's something interesting going on. The queue on its own draws a lot of attention. Uh, and then these gray boxes that they walk around with uh, really get other people to, to ask them, where did you get this? Uh, what is Stratoskill? And then we basically have ambassadors throughout this entire venue, which is huge, uh, that do some of the legwork for us. So they come to us and we don't have to look for them. That recall sounds really very important because it's very, uh, it's sort of easy almost to wander around and find different stands offering different things, especially for the more established uh, businesses. But that recall must be the most important. When they walk away, as you said, they have your company name in mind. Absolutely, and, and this is what this is for. So it's more of like a magnet, all right? Maybe a fun magnet for people to come to us and for us to stand out in this really sophisticated crowd so both the audience is quite sophisticated, they've been through conferences, they know what they're looking for, and then there's so many you know, important vendors out here, so it's an opportunity for us to really stand out and make sure that they know we're here, and then for us to be smart about it and engage with them as they're lining up and waiting to play the game. That's a really, really good point, and I guess having people come to the stand is probably good for all um, businesses. Right. And as you mentioned, people uh, draws the kids out of uh, people, and yeah. it has mo it, uh, it, uh, it has more influence that it's, than its financial value. Right. Uh, you, you don't know this, but uh, last year I was in a big trade show okay. and the booth next to me was very quiet, nobody came. So he asked me, can you give me an advice? And I said, look, there's these guys, they are giving a helicopter, you should see the line. So he said, oh, really, a helicopter? And just deserted his booth and went to, take the, to play the helicopter game. That's brilliant. And what about yourself, Draw? Uh, this is your first time here, but you've yes. been at other events uh, previously. What, what do you think is, uh, for you, the most important, Draw? So for us, it's uh, being uh, uh, the size of company, which we are a small company, and uh, uh, we are going uh, after a specific market segment, which is security and data centers, is really the, the, the quality of the leads. We don't have the capacity and the bandwidth to go and talk to everybody who comes to this show. It's, it's to identify and to talk to the right uh, people, which is never an easy task in an event uh, this size, uh, but that's really what uh, makes the difference for us. What do you think uh, would be your kind of top tips for someone who was coming to their first event or setting up for their first event? Well, uh, number one, uh, get money from Cisco, then Cisco Investment will get you on a, a excellent location in the so event. a benefit of being uh, yeah. working yeah. with Cisco. Yeah, that's a, definitely a benefit if you have to choose your investor, that's a good choice. Um, do your homework before the event, uh, decide about the relevance uh, of the events to you. Uh, for example, for us, this is uh, one of the concerns for us was that we don't have yet presence in Germany. And this is an event happening in Germany, obviously there will be mostly a, lot, a high percentage of German people. So that's a, that is a concern. If we try to follow up on those leads and we don't have anybody on the ground, it will be a downside. And just to add on that, I think many people approach an event as an opportunity to teach uh, potential clients about what they do and why it's important. But I think for us, it's also an opportunity to learn. So through engaging with people, I learn a lot about their challenges and what concerns them. They tell me about things they've tried and things that didn't work. And it's a wonderful opportunity for us as a company and also as a very, you know, as a fast growing startup to learn what's going on out there to make sure that we're well rooted within the community and that we understand what's going on out there. So uh, That's a really, really good point. So it's not just you being a sort of resident and fixed to the stand. Draw, you'd mentioned about booking meetings. And as you highlighted, it's also about having that visibility. So even just being in the presence of, a, of an event like this, and especially on the Cisco investment stand, the opportunity to look around and see what's available is, is pretty significant. Yeah, it's all about listening. So what we've learned is uh, it's really important to prepare in advance. It's really, really important to, to, to be at an event like this and to be thinking not just about the, uh, the preparation of the stand itself, use it to look around, and of course, as you highlighted, to follow up as well and make a real uh, lasting uh, opportunity and of course, a, a business relationship. Thank you both very much indeed for being with me here today and all the best for the rest of the show. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you very much.